This week on Scam School, it's beautiful women and a challenge you can't win. Or maybe you can. And I'm not talking about the women, I mean the puzzle. It might, you might, it's dirty. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Tokyo Flash Japan. Welcome to your encyclopedia for scams, free drinks, and general shenanigans. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have a simple challenge that you're going to be able to blow some minds with. It's got a clever, diabolical solution and will blow your friends away. Let's check it out. I'm going to get on this train. This is Giants! Woo! All right, so we have Christina and returning. We have Bella. I'm glad you came back to scam school. And I got a challenge for you guys that honestly, you might be able to pull off. I honestly don't know if you're gonna be able to do it or not. But if you can't pull it off, I will sell you the answer for of course one tasty beverage. Take a pint glass and a coaster and on top of the coaster, we'll place a cigarette and a quarter. All balanced on there. Now your challenge is you have to get the quarter into the pint glass, only touching the pint glass. If you can pull it off, we'll buy you drinks. If you get frustrated and annoyed, I'll pull it off for you, and maybe you could buy me a drink. So I can lift the glass off the table? You can touch the glass. glass. You can do anything you All want right. with the glass. Okay. And in fact, I'll reset it as many times as you want. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. All right, that was fast. <laughs> All right, what do you got? You want to try? Yeah. Oh, that was a good effort though. You got it? Ah, I like that. You were going for the scoop. Yes. So a couple of words of advice on setting this up. What you want to do is set up the coaster and get the cigarette on there first. If the cigarette can't balance on its own, then that means it's been a little bent. And then the last part, Here's what you want to do. Once the cigarette's set on there, you want to put your fingers, like uh, create a little table of your four fingers on each corner. Yeah. And you just want to kind of come down and set it on there. There we go, like that. So that, that makes the setup easier. Okay. All right. One more time. Game's still going. Ah, oh, nice try. What? That was good. Very good, very good. All right, now can she get it? Now, it looked like Bella's technique was to thrust up and then have time to scoop it up and grab it. I noticed it. All right. <laughs> I'm about to try it, too. Oh! All right, I'll tell you what, Christina. Yes. And you'll like this. Here's a technique that is 100% surefire. You'll always be able to get it in there, and it requires no skill. Do you want to learn it? Yes. Well, then, let's thank our sponsors. Give me a little toast. Cheers! Woo! Okay, okay, before we even begin, yes, I am rocking a totally normal hairstyle. See, it's a convertible do. When I feel like it, I don't always have to be, hey, look at me, I need your attention. Look at these crazy spikes, man. Sometimes I can be, hey, bro, just one of you normal, normal guys. A normal, normal guy, as opposed to a weird, normal guy. The point is, if you want to look like a badass and wear a piece of art on your wrist, you need to visit our friends over at Tokyo Flash Japan. This is their Kisei watch. It's got a maze design on it, and buried inside the maze is the actual time. Click the button and it'll make it clear to you. Now look, if all you want is to know what time it is, there's a billion different ways to do it. In fact, what time is it? Aha! See what you did? I saw you, you're all like, oh, hold on, let me er, er, herp and derp, and then you pull out like it's a freaking wristwatch, like it's 1873. No, man, have the time on your wrist. Have something to, for other people to talk about, and they will talk about it, because not only does it have a novel display, but the thing's a work of art, it's beautiful. Their designs have been complemented by designers at Apple, at Google, all of Silicon Valley seems to love these guys. And when you're at the bar, you want something that's gonna strike up a conversation and give somebody an excuse to talk to you. So I want you to check out their Kisei watch. In fact, head on over to tokyoflash.com slash underscore scam school underscore is important don't just go to slash scam school you got to go tokyoflash.com slash underscore scam school that way they'll know that it's my recommendation that got you there looking at their sweet watches and when you buy one because you'll end up falling in love i already have then you'll be supporting scam school and drinking so if you love drinking go look at tokyo flash's watches that's what i'm saying now here's the thing this is one that I've seen kicking around for a while, 
and I always hated it because the rules that were set up were too impossible. They were so impossible that it sort of told everyone what the real answer was. So I actually changed them to present it to you guys, and I honestly didn't know if you'd be able to pull it off, and I was impressed, Bella, that you were able to Good do job, it. Good job, my dear. Good job. So what I'm gonna encourage the folks at home to do is try to evaluate your friends and figure out the right kind of setup for this trip. Because in my case, I said you can only touch the glass. You could just as easily say you can only touch the cigarette. You could just as easily say you can only touch the cigarette and the quarter, but not the coaster. It doesn't matter because anything you say you can touch is a red herring. The real solution, the one that works every time is the one where you don't touch anything, where you just go under and you go, it lands right inside. Good job. You like that? Yes. Right on. I'm not gonna try it though. <laughs> try it, come on, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it. You gotta get up real close and give it a good burst. Big percussive blast. Big go. Yeah! Well done! <laughs> awesome! All right, I'm gonna do a little prediction trick here for you because before I even showed up today, I wrote Brian's prediction. It was good, but where's a safe place? Can I, can I tuck it kind of yes. underneath your drink there? And then the rest of the cards, we're gonna mix, we're gonna work together to mix these up as most as we possibly can. Sound good? So I'll tell you what, why don't we split them? There'll be a Brian side and a Christina and Bella side. Why don't we split that right about there? Right. This will be your side. This will be my side. You want to shuffle those up? I'll shuffle mine up. Are you good at shuffling cards? I'm not. Yeah. You're not? You are? Okay, all right. She, oh, look at that. She's got the overhand. She's got the ripple shuffle. I'll tell you what. Now, some people might think you're manipulating the cards. So I'm going to do I'm gonna do the domino shuffle. Las okay. Vegas style. Do you want me to do the same Yeah, thing? you go ahead and mix these up too. All right, now let's mix them up even more. Check this out. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a handful of my cards. Uh -huh. I'm gonna flip them over. I'm gonna mix, now mix them up in your cards. And now you grab a bunch of your cards and flip them over and put them in mine. There you go. Boom. We'll mix them up. And in fact, you're like so this. You wanna I'm, do I'm gonna, some of these too? Yeah. Here. There you go. You want to here? Throw some. Flip some over on my side. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Here, I'll mix them in yours. There we go. Now, how mixed up is that? Uh, you want to keep mixing them, or are you good? I think we're good. You're good? All right, here, we're gonna go bloop, 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 like all that. Right. Okay, all the cards were shuffled. You shuffled them, I shuffled them. I mixed them, you mixed them. We took mine, flipped them over, face up into yours. Yours flipped them over, right. face up in mine. Then we took yours that were face up in mine, flipped them over and put them back in yours. And we ended up with something that looks like this. Right. Brian's prediction says right here, there will be 23 face-up cards. How many face-up cards are there? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23? But that's not all it says. It also says the face-up cards will contain 12 red cards. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh. Wait. Oh, there's more? All of the black cards will be odd. Tell me if I'm right. We got ace is odd, nine, seven. Keep on going. Eight, five, one, three, seven, six. six. Uh, right, there is a six. <laughs> six. But the prediction says, except for the six of spades. <laughs> nice, my dear. Well done, well All right, done. you guys were awesome. It was fantastic. Go and toast. Excellent. Now, this one's sort of a funny week because we gave you a payoff without any of the setup. I figure after 200 plus episodes, by now you guys should be able to figure out the right way to set things up for this. And keep in mind, every time you do one of these scam school effects, somebody might accidentally pull it off. And when you do, you got to be gracious, give them a beer, and then move on to the next scam. Speaking of which, I want to hear about your success stories. So hit me up over Twitter at twitter.com slash schwood or follow the show over at twitter.com slash scam school. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. And don't forget to join us next week because we're going to be shooting Scam School the movie. It's going to involve explosions and booze and chicks. It'll be pretty much like a regular episode of Scam School. <laughs>